Alright guys, what is happening? Simon B1471 and today I want to kind of go over what I've been seeing in a lot of comments on my videos. I've been seeing a lot of this on, you know, Twitter. When I say a lot, I mean maybe 20 or 30 people, which I know in the overall picture of things isn't really that many people. But it's a lot for a channel, you know, in a Twitter account size. For me, anyway, at least. Now... A lot of people have been saying, Simon, please upload some Battlefield 1 content. Please, I enjoy the game. And I don't. You know, I've said, or I've done one video a while ago where I said, Battlefield 1, it's boring. Now, while I actually say Battlefield 1 is boring, don't think it's, you know, an absolutely terrible game. But at the same time, I don't think that it's a good game. It is just a average video game and the problem when I say an average video game Battlefield 1 or Battlefield as a franchise as a whole isn't supposed to be just an average video game it's supposed to be you know a next level gaming experience next level's a word I like to use personally if any of you think it's a bit cheesy it's just a word I use it, 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 it's supposed to be next level okay I, I think everybody can pretty much agree, you know, on at least one thing in this video, that Battlefield, you're supposed to get excited, it's supposed to be an amazing game, and so on and so forth. Now, Battlefield 1, don't get me wrong, the graphics on the game look absolutely amazing, you know, they are probably the best ever graphics I have seen on a console multiplayer game. But it has issues, it has very, very big issues. This is my opinion. You know, I judge a game it being good or bad, you know, based on what I think. But other people might like, you know, video games for a totally different reason. That is fine, I can understand. I can understand a lot of people coming on this video are going to probably be pissed off because of what I'm saying. That is totally fine. We live in a world where everybody has a different opinion, but I'm going to compare, you know, Battlefield 1 to Battlefield 4. Now, the two big problems in Battlefield 1, sorry... The lack of weapons in this game, okay, there is just hardly any content when it comes down to weapons. Now, I know a lot of people are going to probably put in the comment section, well, it's because it's World War One. They're trying to make the game as realistic as possible. However, if you was to start making Battlefield a 100% realistic game or make it as realistic as possible... Well, it should be a one-hit kill for a headshot. If you get shot in the arm, you shouldn't be able to aim down the sights of your weapon. If you get it shot in the leg, you should have reduced movement speed. If you wanted to go the full realistic route, you know, Battlefield wouldn't be Battlefield. It'd be more like armour for the PC. So I don't really see that as a valid argument myself personally. I see it just as an excuse what the developers and a lot of the community are using for the lack of, you know, content in the game. Battlefield 4 has at least three times as many weapons as Battlefield 1. And that is comparing the game like for like when both games was released. And yet in Battlefield 1, I'm being a bit kind to it because I'm including the weapon variants as different weapons. Essentially, they're not the same weapon, it's just a variation. But for the sake of arguments... I've actually done, you know, and being kind to Battlefield 1 in that manner. Now, I can also see a lot of people coming and saying, well, Battlefield 1 is just good because I like the variants in the game. That's bullshit. That's straight up bullshit. You know, why would they have weapon variants in the game? I just think it's personally lazy programming. That's what it comes down to. I know, we're just going to have the same exact weapon and just change it slightly because it looks like there's more weapons in the game when... You know, there actually isn't. Lazy programming. I think what's happened with Battlefield 1 is they've got too carried away with making it exactly like World War 1. When at the end of the day, it's a video game. When you're creating a video game, you've got to make sure it's got enough content. Or at least it should have the equal amount of content as what the games have had previous. You know, we are supposed to be, you know, more advanced now. Obviously, we've got next-gen consoles. Sorry, current-gen, I should say. 
and yet there's Battlefield games on the older consoles which have more content. Obviously, I know no other Battlefield game has looked as beautiful as Battlefield 1. However, video games aren't all about graphics. You know, one of my favourite games at the moment, H1Z1, which is just available on the PC, the graphics are dog shit on that game. But the game itself is absolutely fantastic. It is a game what makes me go back and want to play it because I want to get those top 10 scores and I want to ultimately get into the royalty tier on that game. It gives me something to play the game for. It gives me something to make me go back and play it. Unfortunately, Battlefield 1 doesn't give me that at all. Now, the second problem I've got with Battlefield 1 is the progression system in the game. Now, obviously a lot of people may have got the game for Christmas, so I'm sure they're probably still enjoying it, unlocking stuff, and so on and so forth. However, I just don't understand what the developers were thinking when they made this game. Number one, you unlock everything within the first three levels, you know, very quickly. And then you unlock the last item in each specific class at level 10. But then after level 10, there is simply nothing to do, and this kind of links into my own personal preference, what keeps me going back and playing a game. You know, I like to go and play a game to unlock stuff, you know, to experience new things. And even though that doesn't normally apply to the multiplayer genre of, you know, video games, um, it does in others like Call of Duty, you've got your prestige system, you know, you've got camos, what you can earn, by, for example, you know, well, old school days, I should say, by getting headshots, you know, by doing various different things in the game. You had that in Battlefield 4. It wasn't exactly the same, but you did have, you know, camo, what you unlock by doing various different things. Battlefield 1, none of that. None of that. They're like, no, no. Now, the problem with that is, for me, myself personally, it gives it no replayability factor for me. I was actually enjoying Battlefield 1 until I got to level 10. Even at the point where I was going from level 3 in a class to get to level 10, I was enjoying it because I knew I was playing the game, working towards something which ultimately was, you know, a, an amazing weapon. Like the Hellrigel, for example, in the Assault class, before they buffed some of the other Assault Rifles to make them a bit better, the Hellrigel was definitely the best weapon in the Assault class by a country mile. You know, I'm not going to discuss weapon balancing and things like that in this game. Sorry, in this video, I should say. But weapon balancing is another issue. There's certain weapons on the medic class, for example, the Seb Latter. Which, why would you not use that weapon and then use the level 10 medic weapon, which is absolutely garbage? There's issues with the game, but unfortunately, I was kind of expecting the Battlefield community to be a lot more mature. Um, however, on my last video, where I said Battlefield 1 is boring... You know, people was telling me to drink bleach, kill yourself, and I was kind of disappointed because I thought, you know, that the Battlefield community was a lot more mature than the Call of Duty community. I thought the Battlefield community was a lot more accepting of criticism and critique of a video game because anybody out there who is narrow-minded enough to think that Battlefield 1 is an absolutely amazing game and it is groundbreaking, I don't know how to put this any other way, but you're just fucking retards. You know, there is problems with Battlefield 1. Yes, a lot of people are going to enjoy playing the game just for the core gameplay and the experience, and that is fine. But nobody can watch this video and say to me that there isn't a problem with Battlefield 1, the content in the game, and the progression system. It is a step backwards compared to Battlefield 4, and Battlefield 4 is a better game than Battlefield 1. And I'm happy enough to say that without saying it's my own opinion. I just think it is. Obviously, you've got even big YouTubers coming out and talking out about this. You've got Level Cap, you've got Jack Frags, but then you've got other YouTubers like Westy, for example, because let's face it, Westy is definitely the team Martin of the Battlefield franchise. He can't say anything bad about the game. And these type of YouTubers are directly having a negative effect on the game. You know, you can't really trust anybody on YouTube who's got any sort of affiliation, NDAs, these kind of YouTubers who go and visit game, you know, studios, because they get NDAs for a reason, guys. Um, I know an NDA doesn't necessarily mean, you know, you're going to lie about things, but when you've got an affiliation and a working agreement with any particular company, you have therefore then directly got a conflict of interests. You cannot simply work with, you know, EA Dice or, you know, any video game developer 
and cr criticize their games and be welcome back. You know, they're going to be like, well, we've given you this opportunity on YouTube. You know, we're putting your videos on the Battlefield 1 game so people can watch it, you know, before they go and join a match. They expect something back from you. That is just how businesses work, guys. And me on YouTube, even if I ever get to 1 million subscribers, which I know is never going to happen because I'm not good enough on YouTube to be at that level. I'm just not good enough full stop. I would never do anything like that. I'd never sign an NDA with any video game developer. Would I ever want to take, you know, payments or kind of any kind of, oh, look, we'll let you upload this gameplay early before anybody else on YouTube? Would I ever do that? No, I wouldn't. Because the only way I'm going to grow my channel on YouTube is by people subscribing to me who know they always, 100% of the time, are going to get my honest opinion. And obviously, I've mentioned Westy in this video, so people are going to dislike this video just because I've said some things about Westy, which a lot of people may not agree with. But, you know, that's how the world works, guys. You know, people don't always see eye to eye. Like Westy, for example, quick screenshot here. You know, if you disagree with Westy and his actual opinions, guys, um, he's going to call you a fucking idiot. Um, you know, it's kind of... Is Westy Hitler? You know, if you disagree with his opinion, he wants to, you know, just destroy you and get rid of you on YouTube. But yeah, that is pretty much it. I know a lot of people are going to enjoy Battlefield 1 just for the core gameplay, but ultimately, guys, the game has serious issues. A lot of people are going to enjoy it. That's fine. That's fine. But from my point of view, the longevity of video games for me is about, you know, getting new experiences, hence unlocking stuff in games. You know, let's look at it. I'll just go over it very quickly at the end of the video. Battlefield 1 has at least... Sorry, Battlefield 4 has at least three times more weapons than Battlefield 1. Battlefield 1, you've hardly got any attachments or any kind of customization. yet Battlefield 4 had that. You know, and people are saying Battlefield 1 is the best ever Battlefield game. <laughs> That's the biggest joke I've ever heard. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Please don't be too cruel and horrible to me in the comments, because I'll simply block you. <laughs> Only joking. Until next time, guys. Goodbye for now.